very good morning dear students we are going to deal with a new topic today so all the 12 graders you are requested to just keep your own concentration here today we are going to learn about endurance and today we are going to learn about what are the various methods by which we can improve our endurance too so students what is endurance is exactly about endurance means the ability to overcome fatigue ability is the ability or endurance is the ability to do work for the longer time like when i am running as you can see this beautiful nature a person is running okay so it can be measured through distance run or time factor races so endurance is the ability to sustain or continue activity and students endurance is the ability to overcome fatigue right so with this diagram i hope you understand it what i want to tell you is that when you uh, go for a long distance running and when your muscles get lot of fatigue and all so when we are able to overcome that fatigue that is what endurance is all about so it is one of the most important factor right so it is one of the most important component of medium and long distance races it is always required for all the major games like uh, if you talk about kabaddi if you talk about football hockey basketball cycling swimming so in all the you know games and sports endurance play a very very important role right so endurance is the ability to overcome fatigue and it is the major it is a one of the most important thing right uh, so the uh, for all the games like football hockey basketball handball etc if we talk further so endurance is what it involves a large number of muscles okay it is involves a large number of muscles in all sports it may be directly or indirectly students and it is usually measured by the number of repetition because as i told you what is this uh, if i am telling you about this uh, yes uh, uh, what i say is that endurance so endurance is basically you know based upon the repetition it is based upon the longer duration right so endurance if we talk uh, we have different definition by different people with us so endurance may be the ability to resist fatigue according to heary if we go on to think about the webster dictionary is so ability to continue or doing something painful or difficult for a longer period of time to wo kya hoga that is also a endurance now we need to do what are the types of endurance so according to the nature of activity may be a basic endurance may be a general endurance and a specific endurance if we think for the duration of an activity right on the basis of duration of activity endurance may be speed endurance short term endurance middle endurance or long term endurance Right. So this is what I am telling you. Okay. Next thing is, uh, if we talk about the basic endurance, what is basic endurance? Basic endurance is the ability to perform movement in which large numbers of body muscles are involved, and the activity is performed at the slower pace for longer duration, such as jogging, walking, slow running, swimming, etc. These are the example of. basic endurance so basic endurance is the ability to perform movement in a large number of body muscles that involve like jogging walking slow running etc next thing if i am telling you is endurance type is according to the nature of an activity that we are dealing so general it means it's the ability to overcome fatigue or satisfactorily cause different types of activities for a longer duration so it become general right uh if we talk about the specific kind of endurance so specific endurance kya hoga students the specific endurance it is a ability to resist fatigue satisfactorily causes by specific or particular sports activity hai na kiske bare mein baat karenge particular sports activity ke bare mein so for example specific endurance for a wrestler for the combat effectively in the three rounds or the six minute whether four round or for a boxer so speed endurance if you going to talk about which is based on the duration of activity so speed endurance it's the ability to resist fatigue for activity lasting up to 45 second the event of 400 meter sprint is most suitable example for the speed endurance right 
uh, if we talk about the short term endurance so the example of short term endurance is the ability to resist fatigue in activities lasting for about 45 seconds or 2 minutes so 800 meter sprint is the best example of short term endurance got it if we talk about the middle term endurance तो मिडिल टर्म एंडस क्या होता है इट इज दैट एबिलिटी स्टूडेंट दैट रेजिस फटीक इन एक्टिविटीज एंड विच इज लास्टिंग फॉर अबाउट टू सेकेंड्स और इलेवन मिनट्स टू वन इट्स द फिफ्टी एंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मीटर स्प्रिंट इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल फॉर द मिडिल डिस्टेंस रेसिस एंड्रेंस एंड इट्स टाइप्स इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द लॉन्ग टर्म एंड्रेंस सो so, बेटा जब हम लॉन्ग टर्म एंड्रेंस की बातें करते हैं सो इट इज दैट एबिलिटी दैट ओवरकम द फटीक फॉर लास्टिंग मोर देन इलेवन मिनट्स ओके एंड द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज फाइव थाउजेंड मीटर्स एंड इलेवन थाउजेंड और टेन थाउजेंड मीटर्स अक्रॉस कंट्री रन इज द मोस्ट सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट गॉट इट सो वट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी नीड टू नो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट वी शुड नो एंड द टॉपिक इज वॉट various methods for the strength development so we have the first thing here continuous training method what is the first thing we have we have a first thing continuous training method abhi kya hoti hai continuous training method continuous training method it means uh, we need to uh, overcome fatigue for a continuous period of time then interval training method rest then workout rest then workout and fartlek training method so let's learn one by one in detail continuous training method so continuous training method is one of the best method students for the improvement in the endurance in this method a training and exercise performed for a longer duration without any break isliye continuous training method hoti hai aur jo continuous training method hoti hai it is of three types it may be a slow continuous training method it may be a fast continuous training method it may be a variable con training method to so, jo continuous training method hoti it is of three types it may be slow continuous training method yani dheere daudiye for the longer period of time it may be a fast continuous training method it means you will have to run fast but you need to be continuous it may be a variable continuous training method it means you can be fast you can be slow you can be fast you can be slow what is slow continuous training method as i told you it's a basically used for the cross country runners and in these runners distance cycling triathlon athlete football player hockey etc so that is what slow continuous training method is required slow continuous training method develop the high level of aerobic endurance in these the speed or the pace is slow but the duration of workout is long right now we are going to learn the fast continuous training method so fast continuous training method is basically for the sprinters the middle distance runners uh, for example the badminton the tennis these are the best example of it if we talk about the fast continuous training method it helps to develop anaerobic endurance along with the speed and a lot is performed with a faster pace because it is fast continuous तो जब भी बेटा फास्ट कंटिन्यूस होगा इट मीन्स स्पीड इज सो हाई एंड द टाइम इज टू लो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वेरिएबल ट्रेनिंग मेथड दैट इज वेरिएबल कंटिन्यूस ट्रेनिंग मेथड सो इट इज बेसिकली द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फास्ट एंड स्लो पेस एंड कंटिन्यूस मेथड इट पेस इज कीप्स चेंजिंग आफ्टर समटाइम समटाइम स्लो समटाइम फास्ट राइट सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट दिस वट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अवे हर इज दैट वेन आई एम टेक टॉकिंग यू अबाउट द yes uh distance so in slow method there are 10 km 10 to 20 km in fast 5 to 10 km in variable method the distance is 10 to 15 km as well as there is a duration of 1 to 2 hour in slow training method in fast training method the students the distance is the timing is 15 to 30 minutes in variable method the timing is 30 minutes to 1 hour as they have different intensity sessions per week sports and fatigue level almost high in all the activities right now interval training method so see the training method is known as terrace method and this method is introduced by waldmar and rushler and it is modified by randel right so interval training method what is the principle of interval training method is that it involves the special endurance training that involve burst a high intensity workout load followed by the low activity is a rest so the principle is rest workout rest workout rest workout rest 
right so uh, i hope you understand the interval training method what i want to say okay so in interval training method there is one is to two ratio in which you know uh, uh, if the in the one is to two ratio the interval training method represent that load duration is half as compared to rest so the workout is for one minute the rest is for two minute okay so if interval training method be slow or maybe fast there is of two types so if we talk about slow the football hockey these are slow interval training methods and if we talk about 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 1 the rest period is incomplete before next repetition the performance is there was sufficient competition is required so if we talk about the fast that is intensive so the explosive games like badminton tennis judo wrestling this required the fast intensive training method Again, the distance and all we have, okay. So disadvantages are also there. Yes, fartlek training method. Fartlek is a Swedish term which means speed play, and this method is introduced by O. A. Strand and Gosta Holmer. It is an effective method for the development of speed and endurance. Generally, what happen? Uh, fartlek is that method in which the natural environment is taken, and in this uh, fartlek, you know what happens that a person is started to you know run in a jungle then he can climb the mountain then come back from there then a river bed walk at simple jogging then a mix walking like jogging running or slow kind of things right so you can also see that when uh, uh, you can see this this is the perfect thing right a person can do jogging then walk then then to go for the mountain climbing then again come then the river bed walk but what happen is that in fart leg training method there is an absence of the official ground that is the cardio and the standard is lacking and it may happen that in between the jungle you might be you know countered by the snake and various dangerous things okay but it's good for development of various things the advantages of fart leg training methods are it uh, it it is a practiced of free session and it develop creativity advantages uh, with the physical fitness it's, these are the advantages we are going on it provide experience of nature natural motivation there are a lot of enjoyment develop caliber athletes learn to control their pace art of self learning and experience a lot variable next thing is what is the disadvantage see student the disadvantage is that uh, it may cause accident in the path which is not pre planned the actual running training is missing actually for the competition the coach is not be there for the full check over the players right so path may be dangerous or may lost from the destination so this is all about what the fart leg training methods here you have the advantages and disadvantages both high level or adaptable effective effective for speed training improvement great group training easy individual training right disadvantages it is difficult it can be more painful it may require a lot of creativity it is impossible performing injury if you have injury it is impossible so this was all about this session and i would like to thank you for the session with this we'll meet soon with a new lecture with a new session and definitely we'll together we will rock and we'll learn new things together and the what we need is the 100 out of 100 in physical education board exam. Definitely will grasp that and uh, for sure. If you have any doubt, you can ping me in personal. So today we're done with this topic endurance, right? So take care. Bye-bye. We'll meet soon with the new lecture, with the new hope, with the new concept. Bye-bye. Take care with this. Lot of love and lot of blessings to each and everyone.